The one and only Bo Hikes. Thank you. How are you? Right. I like the cold uh, personally, you know. I was in like Chicago, Illinois once, five below zero, no wind chill. It's a little nippy. And uh, it's kind of neat though in that weather, going outdoors, watching smokers pass out because they don't know when they're done exhaling. <laughs> Sort of like good, cheap American fun. Smokers cracking their heads open on the icy sidewalk. Blood steaming as it poured out. I laughed and laughed. <laughs> I don't like the summertime. Everyone goes to the beach. I don't understand the beach. I don't get it as a concept. The beach, what does it mean? Everyone loves it. The beach, the beach, the beach. What's the deal? It's where dirt meets water. Chill out. <laughs> I got a bathtub and an imagination. I'm staying indoors this summer. <laughs> it's that way I can listen to music I like. <laughs> Maybe I'm just jealous. Everyone at the beach is perfect, tan, white teeth. I got white skin, tan teeth. <laughs> it's not my environment. You put me under a neon beer light, I look pretty dang cool. Clearly it's one of those blinking ones. Oh, forget about it. Who's that guy? What guy? That guy. Where? There. Where? I don't know. I'm so pale, I take my shirt off at the beach. It's like a prism. People are just, Bill, put your shirt back on. We can't find our towels. <laughs> All these moths are bumping into me. Bug jokes. <laughs> Which is weird. What did moths bump into before electric light bulbs were invented? That's what I want to know. <laughs> light bulb really screwed the moth up, didn't it? First light bulb ever turned on, billions of moths. What could possibly be the appeal of that? What do they do before light bulbs? Are there moths on the way to the sun right now going, it's going to be worth it? <laughs> Hell of a commute. So this is what I do for a living, uh, comedian. I love my job for one simple reason. I don't have a boss. Definite plus. Boss has always annoyed me getting on my case. Hicks, how come you're not working? I go, there's nothing to do. Well, you pretend like you're working. <laughs> Why don't you pretend I'm working? <laughs> You get paid more than me, you fantasize. <laughs> pretend I'm mopping, knock yourself out. I'll pretend they're buying stuff, we can close up. I'm the boss, now you're fired. As long as you're gonna pretend. So, I got a really bad, I don't have a bad attitude, you know what it is, my face. I got the kind of face people I don't even know walk up to me out of the blue and go, what's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Well, it takes more energy to frown than it does to smile. Yeah, you know, it takes more energy to point that out than it does to leave me alone. <laughs> so get out of my face and watch me smile. These, these are jokes. <laughs> you know, Christianity's weird. They got a lot of weird beliefs. One of them's in the rapture. You know what the rapture is? Where they think true believers are going to be lifted up to heaven, which I'm really looking forward to because hopefully that's going to lower our rents. <laughs> Of course, I live in New York City. The only true believers that are going to be lifted up are going to be tourists. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> I've had a really good time, though. I live in New York City. I don't know if y'all ever been in New York City. It's really a nasty, horrible place, and I love it. And, uh, <laughs> no, it is. It's like, you know you've been in New York City too long when you're walking down the street and a gun goes off behind you and you don't even turn around to see what it was and you get home that night and discover you were shot? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>